Good afternoon. We're doing a little bit of yard work. We're trying to uh, put grass down in several places in our yard that look terrible. And this is where we pulled out some uh, bushes recently. Over here, several years ago when we bought the house, there was a pool. And they put some sand around the pool to make it look like a beach. But we took the pool out when we bought the house. And, well, it's never recovered since then. So we're trying to get it to recover this year. And we're also trying to do this. Well, you can see there's... Remember, that was all gardens, too. Right, yes. Yeah, this... Um, <laughs> Yeah, we're doing what we can. I mean, the rest of our yard looks pretty nice. Well, I mean, it is first thing in the spring, so it does have a few brown spots, but so we'll do what we can. Art is back there working on just raking in the seed. And we just, this is something we do every year, right, Art? I don't know we did it last year, but this has been a constant battle because we try to do more organic methods of controlling the issues in their lawn, which is a little bit more difficult, but, you know, that's how it goes. We don't really want the kids exposed to all those chemicals, um, and it's just, it's a work in progress always. But Art's helping me right now, and the grass seed that we got is supposed to be, the lady told us this is for heavy traffic. She goes, it'll be perfect for your kids. So uh, um, the folks at our, where we go and get our garden supplies, they have known us since, oh, since we first got married. So it's always funny because they're always like, how many kids do you have now? And they know that with a lot of kids, it creates a lot of just mess everywhere in yards. So it's really funny when she's like, yes, this stuff should even withstand your children. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna finish this up so Ar can get back to work and hopefully we'll see some big improvements this year. I'm hoping. And the reason we're doing this today is we actually have rain coming in the forecast for the next five days. Ugh, I don't do great in the gray, way, gray rain, but it does save me from having to water the lawn. That's a big deal. So we're trying to get this down today so the rain can really water us and save us time in the long run. Now we're Isn't putting, fun, yes it is. Oh, don't roll over the seeds. <laughs> now we're putting down some calcium. Because this area here and underneath the tree are very acidic so the grass does not grow well there. Now we're on our way to the local nursery to get some straw for the grass. And we were thinking about not putting straw down because you really don't need it, but the reason we decided to do it is because then the kids know where not to go until the grass gets bigger. If you watched our vlog from a few weeks ago, you know that I was working, maybe I didn't vlog it. Did I vlog it? Already? I don't know if you did. I think we were just working so hard we never got around to vlogging it. So I spent two days working on the front yard, pulling out the moss, redoing the grass. We bought a yard of topsoil and I spread that. And then I went ahead and put lime and then grass seed down along with straw. My goal is to get the front yard looking nicer this year. And then I went through that whole panic stage of, oh, it's not gonna come up and I did it wrong. But lo and behold, it actually came up. It took almost three weeks, but it came up. And I'm so excited because usually our track record with grass seeds pretty, <laughs> pretty bad. So hopefully this will work this time. I'm gonna talk to uh, the people at the nursery who helped me with the grass seed three weeks ago and see what they suggest for just a regular fertilizer because I think that's the next step we're up to is actually fertilizing the baby grassies. And hopefully we'll get them to get well established before summer, the hot heat of summer comes through and then just dries everything out. But I'm happy. I'm aren't you happy, Art? Yes, I always like nice looking yards. You know, and we but really we've we try. Yeah, we've <laughs> neglected the front yard has been well neglected for many, many years. Just between pregnancies and babies, it's not been the top priority. But now that we're getting the front porch almost finished. You know, this is this is just the next logical step to making our home a little bit nicer. And to address one of the questions from one of our viewers, <clears throat> the comments are still disabled. I'm not sure when those are going to be reestablished. Uh, we may reach out to YouTube to see if they could manually review our channel and see if this is something that we could um, get. I don't know if it's like comment jail. 
<laughs> but we want to get off of the that so we can actually talk to you guys if you haven't checked out um, and this is does not work on mobile or Android devices but on a laptop or a computer you can go ahead and go to our channel homepage and then there you'll see a tab for community that community is sort of like Facebook and we are posting every day when we do a video um, the title of that video in the community so you can actually comment there and we know you're talking about that video and that's sort of our way of us trying to be able to still chat with all of you guys even though YouTube has taken away that feature and one other question we've been getting is why are we a month behind on our vlogs or do you want to Enlighten them on that one. We, well, we've been very busy and we have not had a lot of chance to uh, get videos and then edit and then get them published. So we are planning on getting caught up as soon as we can. And uh, it just happens when you have a large family and life happens and things just kind of don't get done. And it's one of the things that doesn't get done. Our priorities have always been our family first. And when our children need us, we want to be there for them, not necessarily glued in front of a computer screen saying, oh, mom and dad are editing a video. You know, our children need their mom and dad. Yeah, right. We love you guys, but you don't come first. <laughs> Sorry. And that's just how life is. We hope that, in you know, we can change that shortly in our season of life. We can get a little bit more editing done but it's just how how it goes and if you've been in our channel family for any period of time you know that we have these times where we get really behind and then we get caught up and we're on track for a while so it just it kind of comes and goes and we appreciate everyone who does stick around and watch and we hope our videos are a blessing to you and you're helping we are here this is where we're going to get our stuff. Let's see, we need straw and anything else or just that? The fertilizer. All oh, right, fertilizer. fertilizer. Yeah, and the last time we were here, we got some uh, some topsoil right back there. Look at the cute little doggy <laughs> with a succulent in it. Do you know cactuses and succulents are all the same? Really? Yeah, they are. Uh, should we get some? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a whole bunch of them with 31. Mm -hmm. Do you know what these are? No, what are they? I don't know. Uh, they look like something along the lines of morning glories. Yeah, some of the Sun parasol pretty in pink. Huh, never heard of a sun parasol. Yeah, flowers spring to fall. Interesting. Yeah, those are cute. I don't know why. What? Those are almost identical to, this is like our spike. Yes. Wow. Our spike produces babies like crazy. Oh wow, we could get rich off <laughs> our spikes. Yeah. Yeah, my dad gave the kids a uh, plant that he called Spike, and his spike started having lots of babies, so he gave some to us. And now our spike is having a lot of babies. So the, the story between Spike is uh, Grandpa in Michigan went to an estate sale, and there was this poor looking succulent that looked almost dead. And I think he paid 50 cents for it. And because so, he felt bad for yes. it. Yes, and so he bought Spike, and now Spike has lived on. <laughs> Spike has grandchildren yes. now. Yes. And there's a dinner bell triangle thing. Do you think we should get that for our kids? Yeah. Do you think that we can uh, get them running to a meal? Maybe. This is something that we should get for the front porch art when we get That's the hanging that. baskets. Instead of the chain. Uh huh. So these would be easier to actually take down and water. Okay, we could do that. You got it? Yes. Is it heavy? A little bit. I'm trying not to brush up against it and get all the stuff everywhere. There we go. Try not to make a mess out of our car. <laughs> you didn't do too bad, just a little messy. We also had free canna lily bulbs there, so we picked up some of those. Ours did not make it through the winter, so we got some more. They have a speed trap going on right in front of our house, and they pulled over a lot of cars today. And it's kind of nice, because a lot of cars go way too fast on our road. And also the kids love watching the policemen. So when I went, I went back to work, and while I was at work, Janelle got the fertilizer all over the 
the yard there. Yes. The and you know what? In a few days, you'll see all the places that I missed or I overlapped. Because with a oops, sorry, kiddo, with a drop spreader, you can see distinct patterns if you miss some place. And I'm sure I missed places. So we're going to have a striped yard in a few days, Hart. Okay. And I am ready to put out the straw. Are you helping? Ouchie. You got an ouchie. Is this good, Mommy? Yeah, so you just take it and you spread it out. And you give it a little shake, shake here and a shake, shake there and a shake, shake everywhere. Oh. Mommy. Mommy. Hey, we're all done. How does oh. it feel to be done with the project? <laughs> This is a project that I feel, I feel kind of bad about because it keeps coming back. This here, pretty much what you see was all gardens when we moved in. Gardens, 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 like garden. Remember, this was all patio bricks. Yes. Remember yeah, that? they were, they weren't really nice gardens. They were, they were more, con, they were congested gardens. Yeah, they were very not, they hadn't been taken care of. So the woman who lived here, she loved the gardens. She had gardens everywhere. And as she aged, she wasn't able to keep up with them. So by the time we get, came in here and bought the house, they were very, very overgrown. There wasn't really a lot of hope for them. And Art and I knew with having two kids and hoping to have more, that simplification was the way to go. So we slowly <laughs> pulled everything out and just turned this into grass. <laughs> Except with this being near the barn, it gets a lot of traffic, a lot of traffic bikes and rollerblades and scooters and so hopefully the heavy traffic will work uh, and you guys don't know this either but that used to be a pool house where our patio is right where well, we, have, we have all our patio furniture that needs some right yeah it's a little embarrassing showing you it right well, now patio furniture. right I need to... we're going to take care of that probably within the next few days oh, yeah. so there was a swimming pool under the patio no there was a swimming pool down there by your swing set there was a big pool and a big deck that went around the pool and then there was a big red building here that was a pool house and that had uh, that was the cement floor but it was all rotting and so we pulled that down and that deck wasn't there we ended up putting that deck in and that back door wasn't there yes and we put the deck there because someone was going to get hurt coming out of the door right. we had some uh, cement block stairs that we put there temporarily, but someone was going to get yeah. hurt. So. And the other thing is we had a bunch of pine trees right behind Art that were in our yard. Remember, it was, the yard was really shady. Yes. And so Art pulled those down and we made a lot of improvements the first couple years, but as kids came along, well, the improvements, the improvements slowed down. We should have been vlogging when we only had two kids or three kids, Art. Right. Oh, they, would have, they would have seen how fast we actually did things. And now it's turtle speed. Yeah. Here's our little grapevine that we planted. We bought it at Aldi, oh, maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago, whenever that was. And, uh, well, we planted it, and oh, it probably needs some water now. Does it We're look getting like a little parsnip right that there. That little tiny thing is a parsnip. Do you have anything else growing? Um, we do. Actually, if you to watch out where your stuff, turn around. Oh, yeah, lots of little peas. peas. See, there's lettuce here. And it looks a little thick in places, so I'll probably take this and um, thin that out. And then we have at least one broccoli. Oh, two broccoli. I take that back. I have two broccoli. I don't know if there's any more. Remember, these seeds are old, so I'm not expecting a lot out of them. So we've got a little bit there. And then if you look over here, we have some spinach. Spinach here and spinach here and spinach here. So a lot of the spinach came. Whoa! Uh-oh, don't fall over. No, oh, it's a, going after the dandelion. But these are the rows that I don't think are doing much of anything. And I'm not seeing anything here. Oh, there's something. Ooh! That, mm, I don't know what this is. Mommy, something of the just, kale family. Mommy, it looks just like a Oh, wait, there's fly. another one. Here's one. It looks okay. just like a butterfly, Mom. It, it does look like a butterfly. <laughs> and then over here was kale. But, oh wait, there's a kale. Maybe um, I was just being too impatient. I'm maybe. Like, that was a little baby 
Oh, there's another kale. So, mm. hey, maybe we will get actually get something. And how is the um, horse radish And the doing? horse radish, Mary, actually needs to get dug to see if we've got enough to harvest. So we have horseradish babies here. We've got more horseradish here. And then I've got horseradish in the other corner over there. So we could actually dig that and um, grind it up. Do you remember that video when you Oh yes, the that was good. Oh, that was hot stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, it was. Okay, these are the, uh, the Swiss okay. chard seeds. Okay. Can I see them? Okay, you wanna show the viewers? Uh-huh. There are the Swiss chard seeds. See? We're going to plant those. Can I help plant them, Mommy? Probably. So Mary wants to help plant some, so there you go. You need to put one in each little hole if you want to come behind me too hard. Uh. Well, we need to do that. Then it's going to rain, so all this will get watered for me and save me the hassle. So we're going to check out the horseradish, see if the roots are big enough to actually harvest or not. Well, it's a big root, but it's like not a, yeah. moving. Whoa, it's oh, yeah. it's a it looks deep. Yes. It is deep. Mm. Okay. Is it good enough to harvest? Oh, it's kind of going sideways. Yeah, oh, it's a sideways plant. Well, it is a big root. There we go. Whoa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that was big. Okay. Interesting. Well, yeah. what we really want is the big center, not just these little spindly ones. Smells like horseradish? Smells horse radish? like horseradish. Hey, right. So, for those of you who haven't seen my horseradish oh, video... Smell the end. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we'll cut the tops off, replant the tops, and then eat the root. Eat the root. Uh, I'm not so used to horseradish. Don't you put horseradish in your food or no? Nope. Daddy okay. loves horseradish. Yes. Well, uh, I think it's mostly for it my too. mouth. My Just... mouth isn't used to it that much. If I got used to it, I would. That's so it. funny how it made its roots. Wow. That is a big one. Good. Yay. That'll add some horseradish. What do we figure? We need about... Uh, about a gallon. About a gallon the way we eat it. Yes. We need a lot of horseradish, especially when I'm sick. There's our pile of horseradish. There's a lot of horseradish here. And then we'll, we'll plant the new stuff soon. So hopefully that will be enough for at least two quart jars. That's what I'm hoping, two quart jars. I don't think there's quite a gallon there. But And those are all the tops. We're gonna go ahead and replant and then Art's gonna bring in some compost and put that in there. Oh, probably two pounds, maybe. A lot of you guys have asked if we could pretty much keep track of what we brought in from the garden. So we're gonna do that again this year. We didn't do it last year, right? No, I think it was the year before. The year before. So we wanna do that again. We will, later on, we're gonna go eat dinner right now, weigh our horseradish and see what the actual tally is. And we should weigh it, Art, and then write how many quarts it worked out to be after we right. grind it up. 
Um, it's something fun that we do like to do. Oh, did you find another piece of glass in here? It's from a measuring cup. It's from a measuring cup? It has a five on it. It had a five on it. All right. So what we ended up doing is we took the tops of those horseradishes and we threw in a whole wheelbarrow full of compost here. And these are just the tops of the oh. horseradish and these will root. So we there have a ton of horseradish. This we probably won't harvest next year. This will be a year hey, after hey. crop. And this is the piece of glass Mary found and she's right. It does have a five on it. Might be from a canning jar or something too. I'm not sure, Mary. We'll throw that in the trash can, okay? Sure. Thank you. And the rhubarb has done very well with all of the rain. And Mary wants to show you guys. This has a seed pod in there. We'll pick that off probably another day. Let it get a little bit taller, then I'll cut it off. I really am excited about this, and I can't wait to turn it into some jelly and things like that. I was just editing the video that you just saw and I wanted to follow up on yesterday's video which was the chemo care bags. For the end of this video you're going to see a few names that were mentioned. Many of you donated to the chemo care bags and I just wanted to personally say thank you so much and what you'll see are the names of the bags that were donated in loving memory of some of these names. If you would like to donate a bag in loving memory of one of your loved ones, go ahead and use the links in the description below. And then just in the comments when you donate, write who you are donating in memory of, and I will put that in our next video. And I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who's shown support for this. And I'm looking forward to finishing it up and being able to film it for you and show you guys the final product.